Well, happening this weekend, you'll want to stop by the Clark County Event Center to take part in the big sale going on tomorrow. Yeah, so the Northwest's largest garage sale and vintage sale kicks off tomorrow. So, of course, we had to send Cora Harlan. He's over there in Clark County getting an early look at the big retail event this morning. Cor, what treasures have you found? <laughs> This is going to be a blast. A lot to get through here this morning. The Clark County uh, Northwest largest mega sale starts tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock here at the Clark County Event Center. We've got a lot of things to show you about here, uh, including deer heads. This is a paintball gun, by the way, so don't anybody get too verklempt over this here. That's a paintball gun. Deer heads over here. Lots of camping gear. I want to introduce you to the two fellows from Damascus who are putting this on. Neil up here. Eric behind me. Neil's, uh, Neil's the dad. Eric is trying to buy a car from the proceeds from all of this stuff here. And you guys have a Really, I've been walking through here. You guys have a really cool, eclectic mix of stuff. Right? Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. You yes. Get it from where? All uh, over, right? All over. Yeah. yeah, we, Eric and I, uh, my son, we just go all over and grab more stuff than we need, and then we get rid of the stuff. The rest, of the stuff. All right. That's how it goes. All right, let's get to it. Here's something, kids, boys, and girls. You've never seen some of these. I don't, what, what is that? It's got a phone on it. I recognize somebody would know that as a, a Snoopy rotary phone. I'm looking through their collection here. As a fan of the Trailblazers when they were world champions, that's a 7-Up bottle commemorating the NBA 76-77 uh, World Championship. Right there, the red, hot, and rolling 7-Up thing with the schedule of all the games they played in the playoffs that year. That is really cool. Uh, out of the uh, box, Barbie. Come over here, Neil. Don't run away from me. I'm, I'm accustomed to people running away from me. Where do you get all these Barbie dolls? Uh, that was out of a uh, place in Eugene, uh, they hadn't been touched in 40 years. These are 80s, uh, like are, 80s yeah. dolls. Huh? Some older ones yeah, too, it's really cool. Carl, up into the left here, you got an old clock radio. Now this would add a little bit of, uh, make a statement in a room or so, right? An old clock radio right there, $15 at the yeah. event center this weekend. A lot of military collectibles too here. You got this, all this stuff here from some guy who's a military collector too, right? Yeah, he had passed away and his uncle had it and he uh, ended up giving it to us. This is right there. My head's way too big for this hat with a star on it here, but I believe that's a Chinese, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably a Chinese military hat there. This is the one Carl would wear because he was a general back in the Army. Carl was a general back in the Army. Come on, we got a few more things to show here. Eric, you're trying to buy a car with all of this money that you're raising here. Here's a bin here. This is socks. How many pairs of socks you got here? Two socks for a dollar. Or two, sorry, 2,000 pairs of socks, two for a dollar. 2,000 pairs of socks, two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. The rest of them are somewhere else. So if you need socks, here's your place to go here. We showed you some of this military stuff over here as well. And the tool table. People love the tool table. Mostly dudes, I'm guessing, like the tool table. <laughs> yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And what do they do? They just come in here and just pick stuff out and take it, huh? Yeah, it's a dollar or less. Uh, any tool is a dollar. Screwdrivers are two for a buck. And uh, sockets are three for a buck. And uh, every 30 minutes, we put, put more in there until they're gone. There's just so much stuff here. We only have a certain amount of time. I'll send it back to you here. But I did find, of course, my blade here. Yeah, that's my blade here. I don't now. If you're uh, if you're getting cut with this thing, you're going to get a little rusty infection on that cut because that is an old knife. I don't even know what this would be for. He doesn't either. He doesn't either. Maybe hunting. Maybe I have no idea. But, yeah, it's a a homemade or <laughs> homemade or tomato. Clark County Event Center is where this all happens, 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock Saturday, rain or shine. It's dry in here. And swing by and say hi to these guys and help Eric get some money together for his first car that he wants to buy. He's 16 nice. years old, and you can do it $1 at a time here at the thing. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, too. That's cool. Cor, I need you to find out how much that Snoopy phone is. <laughs> no, this is very important. I'll wait. How much is a Snoopy phone? Uh, Emma wants it. He doesn't know yet. He's haggering about price. We'll figure okay. out a price and tell Next you. Oh, half I'll text hour, you. I'll, team, I'll put you know. on Teams. I'll get you a price. Okay, Cor, <laughs> yeah, thanks so you got much. Yeah, do, doing the hard work out there. Yeah, That's a some good gems. thing. Keep in mind a lot of gems. Mm -hmm. There's always something fun, mm -hmm. some treasures out there. And mm -hmm. I know we say this all the time, but especially true on a day like today, good indoor activity yeah, coming up. Yeah, to go out. Mm -hmm. through some, uh, some treasures. Yeah. Like um, thousands of things that you don't I'm even know. I'm sure you could find something that you want to take home. Yeah. So I guess. In 